to record. Love. So folks, tonight you're in for a wonderful journey and information. Tonight is about information because many of us when information, you know, knowledge applied and not applied is part. Okay. All right. Please forgive me. We have some, you know, right. So as we go straight into our session today, we're going to talk about the endocrine system, the anatomy and hormonal functions of the endocrine system, conditions, systems, quantum testing, and also wellness recommendations. As you know, my company is Gift of Health Limited, and you know, we always are open here to give advice. So let's dive right straight into our session this afternoon. So as you see on the screen, hormones, right? What is hormones? So the endocrine system is a system, a network of glands and organs located throughout the body, all right? So it's similar to the nervous system in that it plays a vital role in controlling and regulating most or many of our body's functions. However, while the nervous system just uses nerve impulses and neurotransmitters for communication, the endocrine system using chemical messengers, which we call hormones, all right, to transmit and to regulate our organs and organs function in our body. So here you have on the screen a, sli a slide showing the hormones and different types of, of um, the, 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 the glands in the body, the endocrine system, the hypothalamus, thyroids, parathyroids, liver, and the hormones that regulate those. So as we get into this session, we'll understand what these hormones actually do for and to our body. All right. So these are secreted by the glands, as you say, which is called the endocrine system. And this travels through the bloodstream to various organs and tissues in the body. These hormones now are the cell signals, so it tells these organs and tissues what to do and how to function, all right? So some of these bodily examples and functions are controlled by, the, the system is controlled by metabolizing, growth and development, sexual function and reproduction, heart rate, blood pressure, appetite, sleeping and waking cycles, which attract, you know, it works with the circadian rhythm, your body temperatures. All right. So each gland produces one or more hormones, as you see on the screen here. All right. And which go to or target these specific organs and tissues in the body. So let's start with what the, 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 the hypothalamus. All right. The hypothalamus, while some people don't consider it a gland, the hypothalamus produces multiple hormones that controls the pituitary gland, all right? It involves the regulating of many functions, including your sleep-wake cycles, body temperature, appetite, and it can also regulate the function of the whole endocrine glands, all right? So... The function of the hypothalamus we see in regulating sleep patterns and, you know, the function of, 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 of this glands actually helps the body, as you see, the major hormone, sorry, is antidiuretic hormone, which is ADH, oxytocin, and various hormones that stimulate the pituitary glands. And what that influences, it influences the nervous and hormonal system. So that is what the hypothalamus is responsible for, all right? The pituitary gland, let's get into the pituitary gland. It's major hormones, it's luteinizing hormone, LH for short, stimulating follicle stimulating hormones, which is FSH, prolactin, growth hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH. You, you know, you hear these fancy words when you go to your doctor, but you know, here I am breaking it down for you so you understand oxytocin, antidiuretic hormone, ADH, and uh, adren the adrenocortorphic hormones, which is ACTH. And all of these hormones influences production, growth, childbirth, breastfeeding, and hormone regulations. All right. So this pituitary gland is located below the hypothalamus and this hormone it produces affect the growth and reproduction and they can also control again 
other endocrine gland functions. So what these major hormones actually do? The FSH controls the production of eggs and sperm in the human anatomy in the body. All right. It also produces oxytocin, as you see. And what oxytocin um, does, the, the hormone is, is, it helps in regulating, it helps with lactation, childbirth, and mother-child bonding. When, you know, the mommy breastfeeds, that, you know, it helps in the bonding. So it regulates that in the, in, 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 in the human um, body. Prolactin actually promotes breast milk production. So this is some of the hormones that is produced by the pituitary gland that helps in these, you know, growth and, and, and function in the body. Also, we have, um, in terms of, of, of breastfeeding, it also helps to in regulating metabolizing as well. So this is what, you know, the influencing of the pituitary gland and its hormones does in the system. The pineal gland or pineal gland, as some will say, major hormones as is melatonin. And what melatonin does, many of us know the melatonin hormone, which influences your sleep cycle. All right. It is found in the middle of the brain and it is important in regulating your sleep weight cycle. So if we have any issues in sleeping, we have to, you know, go back to finding out if something is wrong with the pineal gland, because that is very important in regulating and helping persons to sleep. And as we get deeper into the conversation, you know, you will have more information as to why these disruptions starts to happen in our body when it goes out of balance, because we are going to look at causes, what it does, and, you know, diseases and how we can correct some of these issues that may arise in the body with when the endocrine system goes out of balance. So here we have our thyroid gland. I just love our thyroids because it is so important in the human anatomy endocrine system. Its major hormones is tri -io, sorry, triiodothyronine, tyronine, T3, which is T3, tyroxine, which is T4, and calcitonin. All right, it influences metabolism and bone health. Wow, in today's world, metabolizing is one of the major diseases and disease and concern in our population today. So we know why and what we can do and work with to help these glands now do what it needs to do and the importance of what you are going to hear later on, what causes the disruption of the thyroid gland. So it's located in the part front of your neck, as you see, and it's very important for metabolism, metabolizing and bone health. All right. So when you have these hormones are low in your body, you know, you have to, to, to you go to your doctor and you prescribe these meds, T3, thyroxine, calcitone tablets and all of that to regulate it. But you in for a treat today because what causes the disruption you will get to understand later down as we go into the session because today i don't want to be very long i just want to give information if we have to do a part two series we will continue in next sunday session parathyroid gland it's major hormones parathyroid hormone which influences calcium and vitamin d regulation in the body that's simply what the parathyroid does Okay, it is located at the front of the neck and the parathyroid gland is important for maintaining the to control of calcium in the body and levels in the bone and blood. There are issues that happens when the body becomes acidic and the calcium has to be absorbed into the bloodstream. And then what happens, the bones start to become brittle because it's not reabsorbed back into the bone. So we are going to talk about when, when, why these issues happen within the system and what's the causation of why the thyroid gland goes out of balance as well. Okay, here we have the thymus gland, which is a small organ that lies in the upper chest under the breastbone. It makes white blood cells called lymphocytes, which protect the body against infection. Those, the thymus, actually, you hear about T cells and CD4 cells. Well, it comes from thymus gland, T cells. 
it is the 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 white blood cells that actually produces and builds to to to, to bring, promote healthy cells and also they are our uh, nuke cells natural killer cells which helps to, to fight infections that come against the body okay bacterial microbes and viruses and all of that so that is what the thymus glands do so folks if you have some of these glands missing well i'm sorry you did not get to us before so that we can save them because each and every gland has a certain function and a perform that it performs in the body to help the body regulate and work in its fullness and in its wellness state so when these organs are out of the body the body has a lot of issues starts to arise in the system and we need to have to, to stop that because most times when we go to our medical doctors and i can tell you because i'm associated with them if an organ goes out of balance if anything happens the first thing is to take it out so you see how important these glands is in the endocrine system so start checking people and see if all is intact or if they're not working properly your md tells you it's not working properly well then you need to see a real doctor because what they are telling you it can be corrected and can be you know sought out and and work to its full entirety all right the adrenal glands i love my adrenal glands because the adrenal glands does what the adrenal glands re releases cortisol, which is a stress hormone that relaxes the body, right? Um, fight or flight, adrenaline, all right? When you get the fright and the scare, you, your buds, blood starts to roll and boil and you, you get all, you know, you have the, the, the power to move, even if two seconds ago you were all drabsy and fatigued. So the major hormones, adrenaline, and no adrenaline, cortisol, aldosterone, and that influences your stress response and blood as well, blood pressure and the salt control in your body. So these are found on top of each kidneys and these glands produce hormones, as you see on the screen, that regulates the functions of your blood pressure, heart rate, and stress response, all right? The pancreas, the pancreas, major hormone is insulin, glucagon and somatostatin, all right? And all these hormones regulate and influences your blood sugar control. So when the pancreas goes out of balance or gets sick or is weakened, this is what starts to happen major issues because you know the pancreas is one of the main organs that help in metabolizing breaking down your glucose in your body so if you overload it in sugars a lot can start happening you know it's like a catalyst effect for blood pressure cardiovascular issues kidney failures and other things that comes with the degeneration of a pancreas then we have ovaries which is basically is not part of the endocrine system it's a non-endocrine function but it nevertheless its function is to produce eggs and sperms respectively all right so the females which has ovaries obviously only right major hormones estrogens progesterone influences your female characteristics you have overproduction of progesterone you, you, you start to have manly characteristics. So the estrogens and progesterone in regulating, you know, gives us the female characteristics. The testes in males only, major hormones, testosterone, and the, that testosterone influences the male characteristics. So looking at the hormones, all right, we're going to look at conditions that basically affects the endocrine system. If your hormone levels are too high or too low, we have problems. When this happens, a number of things can happen and affect our health. The signs and symptoms actually depend on the hormone that is out of balance. So when we look at the, the hormones, we have to look at anything that starts happening in, in the body. We have to start looking at what is going on with the hormones in the body that causes all these influencing in our health how we feel and how our body 
pro promotes our wellness, all right? So some of the issues and conditions that persons when the endocrine system goes out of balance or, it, or, or hormone levels are altered, either too low or too high, we, 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 we start to get hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is one of the main things that happens when your thyroid glands make more thyroid hormones than necessary. And this can give rise to autoimmune conditions. So persons who have, have hyperthyroidism, all right, when meaning that hyper makes more of the thyroid hormones, it can include fatigue, some of the um, symptoms you might feel, nervousness, weight loss, diarrhea, issues tolerating heat, feeling cold or too hot, fast heart rate, speed up heart rate, or meals, all right, and trouble sleeping. Some of these are signs and conditions that, hey, my thyroid is starting to, you know, go, something is going on with my body, all right? Not necessarily everything in your system has an issue that it needs to come out or you, your doctor tell you and they put you on, on, on pills. I mean, we're going to talk about that a little later down. But some of these issues when you suffer from hypothyroid, hypothyroidism, sorry, these are some of the conditions you feel. So treatment depends on how serious, as I say, these conditions are and its underlying cause. Of course, options are medications, radio, radio iodine therapy, or surgery. But folks, let me tell you something. Surgery is our last, our last option because our body is made to heal itself. And as we continue, I will tell you why, because I promise you that we're going to go through the hormones, go through the issues that's starting with the hormones, and then we're going to talk about how we can keep the organs in our bodies and repair it back to wellness. Another condition arises from, which is an autoimmune um, disease, when they, they, you have hypothyroidism, Graves' disease, which is a disorder commonly found in hypo, hypothyroidism. In, great, in Graves' disease, this, um, in, it, 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 your immune system attacks the thyroid and cause it to produce more thyroid hormone than normal, hormones than normal. Now we have hypothyroidism, all right? Hypothyroidism is when you don't produce enough thyroid hormones. So you have a low amount of production in thyroid hormones, all right? It has its causes as well. Some of the symptoms you might feel again, fatigue, weight gains, constipation, right? Issues tolerating the cold, dry skin and hair, you know, slow heart rate, irregular periods, women, you know, who have been suffering from, you know, different um, conditions, even it can affect fertility, in, you know, infertility and all of that, you know, taking a while to become pregnant and so forth, and um, fertility issues, as I, you know, I said earlier on. So some of these, you know, um, hypothyroidism involves supplementing your thyroid high um, hormone with medication. Now, most of the times, because, you know, clinically, you go to see your doctor and they'll put you on these prescribed meds. But today, folks, you know, my session is of a different twist, a different mix. When we have issues, we can solve these problems. And, you know, scientifically, I bring the information to you. And now you have to take it through your thinking man's filter and do the necessary and be guided accordingly by the divine. Some issues when the endocrine system goes out of balance. Cushing syndrome, I'm, I'm not sure if anybody heard that, 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 that this disease before. It happens due to high levels of hormone, cortisol hormone, that is, the adrenal glands, all right? Causes and, and conditions, symptoms that you might get and you see happening, weight gain, you know, you have fatty deposits in the face, midsection or shoulders, you get stretch marks, particularly on the arms, thighs and abdomen slow healing of cuts, scrapes, and insects bites. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of picturing you guys checking out your body now to see if you have all of these things and what is associated with what, which is great because you, I'm teaching you the human body. So now you don't, you know, I mean, it's important for you to know yourself and to thyself be truthful. When you know your body, you can identify and prescribe for yourself and say, okay, these are some of the things that I'm happening. Maybe it's an association with such don't have your medical doctor to tell you what is going on with you because we know that they treat symptoms. They don't treat the root causes of the symptoms, all right? So they look at you and say, okay, that is what happening. Wow, 
it's not writing out a, a prescription one time. No, we are here for information and it's the information I've given you. So you go, you do your due diligence. Uh, at, at the end, we have our discussions. All right. Some, 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 some um, conditions include thin skin and you bruise easily. Irregular periods again, decreased sex drive and fertility in males. All right. Most times treatments clinically, the treatments include medications, radiation therapy, or surgery. All right. Another, another disease that occurs when your endocrine systems goes out again with the adrenal glands, it's called Addison disease, which happens when the adrenal glands don't produce enough cortisol or cortisol, sorry, or aldosterone. All right. And these include fatigue, weight loss, again, abdominal pain, low blood sugar, nauseous or vomiting, diarrhea, irritability, craving for salt or salty foods, and irregular periods. All right. Again, we treat clinically with medication that because the body is not producing it. So we have to put you on a steroid so that it can produce it to help the body produce the hormones, the organs. One other main issue as well, which is a problem now, and it is going rampant, diabetes. Now, diabetes is what refers to a condition where your blood sugar levels aren't regulated properly. So there's where the pancreas come in play. All right. People with diabetes who have too much glucose in their blood, it is divided by diabetes type 1 and type 2. All right. Some of these issues that you, 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 you conditions that arise when you are diabetic either type one or two, fatigue, again, weight loss, increased hunger or thirst, frequent urge to urinate, irritability, frequent infections, all right? And most times um, treatments, clinical treatments are done by monitoring the blood sugar, insulin therapy or medication. Most of you know, you know, I'm being on metformin or glucophase. And also lifestyle changes such as getting regular exercise and eating a balance, balance sorry, diet can also help in terms of regulating your glucose or sugar levels in the body. So what we are saying today, folks, is that when our organs go out of balance, there must be some main concern or some main issue or something that is causing the disruption in the body. So today, this afternoon, I'm not sure, can anyone tell me, Master of Controls, is Master Clive on? Yes, um, he is actually. Okay, um, now my mouse goes all crazy on me and it's not moving. So let me see here. So I can actually unmute um, Clive, on, um, Clive's mic right now. Okay. Uh, Clive, your mic is unmuted. You can go right ahead, sir. All right. So let me, let me introduce a wonderful gentleman by the name of, I, I call him Master Clive Campbell. But in my world, he's like a doctor in his own right very informative, full of information. He hails out of the beautiful island of Jamaica. He is my, I will say my, my, my soul flame in talking about the microbiome. <laughs> you know, what a beautiful gentleman. I have only known uh, Mr. Campbell for the last year and a half. And we have only been on, the, uh, on, on programs such as this, never met him in person, beautiful to heart, beautiful to soul. And you are seeing something on the screen this afternoon, and it's called the microbiome. So you heard a lot about the endocrine system. I explained to you the anatomy of the endocrine system, it home, it, the hormones and its function, all right, and what it does. But do you know that something actually causes the genes and the, the body to produce these hormones and without it and without the balancing of these what we would say microbes and microbiotas it is all summed up in the word microbiome so when our microbiome goes out of bounds for those of you who are on the call may know about the microbiome because we have lots of doctors and the persons you know who have been going through our microbiome studies and sessions and understanding what the human body is actually made up out of so tonight i cannot do justice to the microbiome but i'm going to ask master clive campbell 
to come and talk to us a 10 minutes about the microbiome, its functions, the genetic material that it is made up out of, and to give us some information and background as to the number of genes in the human genome that makes up the human microbiome. Over to you, sir. The floor is yours. Hi, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much, um, Dr. Denise. Well, it's a privilege always to chime in and to speak with our great friends. Uh, I, I personally believe that we are having a handle as human beings to understand our true construct. And it's just happening now. What a time to be alive. Of all the generations of human beings to have lived, we are happening to live in the same time when all the discoveries are made. Because some of the brightest of human minds and uh, influential folks and such alike have lived and died and they do not understand what you now know, or for some of us is about to know about the makeup of the human body. You see, as I like to say that, the day that we were born, we were basically 99% human cells and just about 1% microbial cells. And something happened over the next 36 months that an organ that we did not go with in our mama's tummy over the nine month period began to be acquired in a 36 month period. And by the time we reach that third birthday thereabout, a great transformation has taken place of no mean order. 90% of the cells in our body now are no longer human but they are from the microbes and 10% human cells in terms of numbers. So here it is now, based upon the human genome project, et cetera, we have come to understand that the human body is comprised of 10 trillion human cells, but a hundred trillion microbial cells. So in terms of human cells to microbial cells, it's 10 to one. 10 microbial cells to each human cell. And some persons go as far as to say, we are like a ship that transport microbes around. We don't have our bodies to ourselves. It's far from that. We are not sterile. Far from what we have been told that we should try and live sterile and we should try and get rid of these bugs, these critters. But with the information we now have, because when you are living in the information age, information is king. This information we now have is changing the way we look at the human body because it is not all 100% human cells. It is 10% human cells and 90% microbial cells. And when it comes to genes, uh, the human genome project is one thing, but the human microbiome project of 2008, for five years of 2013, we begin to understand the makeup of the genes in the body versus the makeup of the, hum the human genes versus the microbial genes. You know, we were very hopeful that we would have anywhere from 200,000 to 250,000 human genes. Why would they think that way? After all, the common rice plant has 38,000 genes and the common earthworm has 42,000 genes. So they postulated that we would have that amount, nearly a quarter million human genes. But when they checked it out, we only have, are you ready for this? 22,500 human genes. They were baffled, blown away, their ego was damaged, their balloon burst. All kind of things you want to say because they, they couldn't fathom that we only have 22,000. So the question is that, how then are we surviving and functioning with such high level of sophistication? Why are we able to perform with such high level of intricacy? They find out that the microbes 
they have anywhere from 4 million to 20 million genes in their pool versus ours, 22,500. So 99%, ladies and gentlemen, of the genes being expressed in our body is basically from a non-human source. That, that, that's what could be very frightening. We are not in charge. We are not in control. These microbes that we think all they want to do is to damage and destroy our lives. Far from it. They want us to survive and to survive well. <clears throat> I might wonder, there's a selfish reason in part why they want us to do well as human hosts because they, they get a lot of protection, hydration, food, and you know, just living in a nice um, creature comfort environment. The human body is a nice place to live. So they want you to survive well. They want you to do well. They want you to succeed. They give you the drive and the ambition to do well and move beyond and above what you would ordinarily want to be. And they want you to live long and they want you to live good. Because the longer you're around, the longer they have these provisions. So it is it's, it's, it's quite an interesting time in human development because when Professor Tim Spector of King's College in UK chimes in, he says that the textbooks of this world has to be rewritten. We have to burn the current textbook because they no longer represent who we are in terms of human function because we are not the ones calling the shots in the body. And try as we may, we do not want to continue to try and get rid of these microbes because they are playing important roles in our body. Can you imagine that of the 100 trillion microbes in the body, they have found a way to form an organ living inside of our body. This organ is now recognized by the medical and scientific community. It's an official organ. They have even given it a name the microbiome, and it has a pet name, the second brain. Science is saying that. This is not us making up a story because we have had a little too much bellage and kind of a fire to drink and we're overly excited. This is raw human biology, the newest version of us. So ladies and gentlemen, you have become familiar with the human side of yourself. Please become familiar now with the microbial side of yourself because we can't live and function without the microbes and what make us human ain't even human, ladies and gentlemen. So some of the things that they do, why we call it an organ, is that they make 30 different neurotransmitters in our body that things like serotonin, melatonin, dopamine, epinephrine, norepinephrine, acetylcholine, and things of that nature. And these are the things that run our body. A type of hormone these neurotransmitters are. And serotonin, for example, determines our mood. Imagine that 95%- oh, wow. So wow, wow, Mr. Grimes. <laughs> So, yes. Master Clive, I have to stop yeah. you here. So, what are you telling us here? You are yes. telling us that this second brain, which actually starts in the gut, starts from the mommy's womb, coming out of the vaginal canal and getting these microbes into their bodies and starting them to start life, to be immune resistant or to have a proper functioning immune body for all these organs and functions to 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 function properly are you telling me that this microbiome which starts in the gut i mean we're going to be interactive now because this is amazing folks you just heard what he just said so you are telling me that this is the regulating or the starting of the building blocks of all life and when the body goes out of balance this it is affected by the microbiome yeah it is, this is what hard, if science is to be believed, this is the latest 50,000 scientific papers published in the last five years alone about the microbiome. All right. 
is so the hottest start. topic yes. today. Yes, so let's start the conversation now between you and I. Do you yes. know now, we spoke about, you guys heard us talk about the clinical anatomy of the organs, the endocrine organs, and the hormones and the function that goes with what these hormones do in the body. So Clive, do you know that there is the microbiome and hyperthyroidism, it's affected the microbiome and guess what? When we, it, the, 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 the thyroids are affected, whether it be hyperthyroidism, that disorders comes from, it causes papillary, sorry, sorry, papillary thyroid cancer, all right? Mm -hmm. And guess what? You just give us the answer. Approximately 90% of hyperthyroid disorders have an autoimmune component, likely, here's what the science say, and they are saying it now, and they are coming out, triggered by the microbiome. Yes. Right? It is. Yes. Wow. It, it, yes. This, this is amazing, you know. And guess what? The attraction to triggering of this, the, it, 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 the, the brain child in all of this, everything stems from the gut. So when all these issues are rising in the body, it directly brings it back to the microbiome and the resetting or the getting the balance back of these microbes in the gut back where it belongs because that is where all the triggers are starting from the gut yes a lot of things have been outsourced to our microbes and that wow. is the reality they are in charge just as how you have a brain that is in charge of certain responsibilities in the body the brain in your gut is charged with certain responsibility and to be responsible for certain things in the body also to maintain balance. A dysbiotic gut is the reason for many things being out of balance and therefore is diseased. We are sick, we have conditions and we have issues when our microbiome is out of balance. And you can understand because many persons are yet to realize that they do have one that these guys play such an important role and that it is important to take care of them. We should not try to destroy them. We should try to feed them. We should not try to manipulate them. We should give them what they need and they will in turn give us what we need. Wow. This is a beautiful arrangement. Wow. I, um, I, you know, uh, because, you know, you, you give the information and I'm clinical now. I'm, I'm the scientist here now. I'm being the devil's advocate because listen, <laughs> this is what we are seeing. There is a strong, and hear what science is saying it. And I mean, we have been studying it at the genetic level. All right. If there is saying that the strong correlation between thyroid and gut health, there is that strong correlation between the thyroid and gut health. And studies have shown that low thyroid hormones can lead to, you just said it, leaky gut syndrome, poor gut health, and that can suppress your thyroid function. So optimal digestion actually helps to tame the antibodies associated with this autoimmune conditions such as Hashimoto's and Graves. We just spoke about it in, 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 in lack of, you know, having these hormones pr production. Graves, you get weight loss, intolerance to heat, weakness, bulging eyeballs, some, some, some of these issues you, you, you can see in, in certain people from their sockets. Hashimoto's is, is, is just the opposite. Weight gain, coldness, constipation, you know, infertility issues, uh, um, fertility issues and all of that. So what are we saying, folks? You see the connection. And then they go back to talk about thyroiditis, which is caused by the, uh, an attack now on the thyroid, causing inflammation and damage to the cells in the body. And it all leads back to when this biosis of the gut, when the microbiome goes out of balance. And hence the reason it's like you have juvenile type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis. 
So here you have it, folks. You are seeing this predominance of these particular bacterial species when they go out of balance in the body, hypothyroid disorders. What, we are hap what, what, what is starting to happen is what we call microbiome dysbiosis, all right? And it has been linked to decreases of bifidobacterium and lactobacillus, but with increases in enterococcus, presumably via thyroid reactive antigenetic molecular mimicry. So what, what we are saying is just some big fancy word, but in simplicity, what you are saying to me, Master Clive, is that if the gut microbiome is not getting the food, nutrition, or what we need to give it, not an antibiotic, but these probiotics and prebiotics, we can have an issue. Well, most definitely. And that is what we are finding out. And we are just <clears throat> sorry, finding out about it now um, in terms of how the human body functions. And it, it, we, are, we have always tried to find out what was missing. The doctors always say that there is no explanation for this condition. We are not able to help you. We're not able to tell you because it is not the prerogative of the human body to do certain things. These microbes are specialists in their own way. And when you have a, a body with say a thousand species of microbes, each one is performing specific functions in the body. So when you take an antibiotic and it cause gut dysbiosis, you may be damaging the gut in a way that you have wiped out certain species and therefore certain functions that are to be performed are unable to be performed and therefore you are imbalanced and the functions are not taking place. And therefore it causes the different types of autoimmune diseases until you find a way to repair a damaged gut. Because it is the microbiome that maintains the integrity of the gut, including the gut lining. When the microbiome is healthy, there is no leaky gut because it plugs the hole and keeps it sealed and healed. When the microbiome is damaged for obvious reasons, antibiotics, regular medication, the non steroidal inflammatories, the stress, sugar, alcohol, smoking, electromagnetic frequency. Now we have uh, the glyphosate. This is crazy, Monsanto. Oh Lord, if, if we ever know the evil of glyphosate, we would demonstrate every day against this, this antibiotic. It doesn't, they say that it, mankind doesn't have a shaky made pathway, so it doesn't affect the human body, but microbes do. And when you damage the microbes, you damage the human body irreparably. And, and who does not see this? Which evil does not see this? And then this gives rise to the leaky gut conditions and causes chronic inflammation. In a body that is inflamed, your endocrine system cannot work in a chaotic environment and therefore everything is off. So we now have to find a creative way to fix back the gut. That's right. The way, right. The way to fix it, fix your microbiome, let them heal and seal the gut. And then you get rid of 95% of the cause of man's diseases and affliction, which is inflammation. And then we have the autoimmune diseases that doctors don't know how to fix, but the microbes are the specialists. Mm -hmm. We need to concentrate, as you said, the prebiotics, the probiotics to feed them, to get them like healthy, wealthy, and wise. And then we will benefit in the long term. That is so, so true because you just spoke on it and it is, it is proven when the, we talk about the adrenals, we talk about the hypothalamus, the pituitary, and these hormones that, you know, is produced from, from these um, organs, glands actually in your body. Let me use the pr um, proper wording for, 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 for the system. And what researchers have said within relationships and studies, it's, it's an association with the, 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 the gut microbiome because these relationships between the fecal microbiota and serotonin and cortisol, these two companies 
components in the blood is known to influence by the gut microbiota. So what you are saying is exactly true. And alterations in the gut microbiome ends in aging. It impacts the brain, sorry, the gut brain axis. So it hampers the neural endocrine nutrients and, and, and immunological signals between gut and brain via enteric nervous system, which is the ENS. So what you are saying is exactly true. And these things can play a role in diseases of the central nervous system, the CNS, which you were talking about earlier on, such as multiple sclerosis, autism, aut autism sorry, depression, and some bacteria in the Clostridium genus, because these are propionate acids, which comes into the body and affects the modes boosting with, 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 which is the, the, the dopamine, which helps in terms of how your moods are, you know, regulate how you feel, happy hormones and all of that. And in turn, when these are disruptive, they have proven medically that is because the gut microbiota has gone out of balance. And that is why we call it the second brain, because it's, that is the brain that actually regulates and if that is not healthy then all else fall down so folks are you getting the information this afternoon i'm not sure maybe you might get it later down in the program but if your gut is not healthy then everything goes out of balance all right, it's, you, you will have your low levels of serotonin, all of these things. And actually, they show that these behavioral and emotional disorders are evidence associated with the gut microbiota and the microbiome dysbiosis. So, so, so you know what you are telling me, it is linked to all of these things, mental illness, anxiety, depression that we are having now the hypothalamic pituitary and adrenal association. I mean, we're now lumping all in one. So I give you the walk through the anatomy, the creation, what the hormones does its function. And now we are talking about the main brain, the child of what actually affects the, 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 the information now that, so, 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 so you are saying to me that, as you said before, we, you know, these textbooks has to be torn up because I know that's a fact, all right, through the genome studies and all of that, they have been recording wrong information. So now that this information is out to us, what you are telling me that we, we they, 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 they now actually playing catch up? Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> most, most definitely. Um, science is just not catching up with nature. And I, I, gave, I gave our folks an idea of how sophisticated the microbiome works. So when, a, when the biome is healthy and they work it along with the brain immune axis, it picks up something is wrong. There is an anomaly somewhere in the body. It will cause the release of certain compounds to go to the spot to heal it. If that doesn't work, do you know what the, micro, the microbiome does? Deploys certain contingent of microbes that will go on site to supervise the healing repair mechanisms in that site, and they do not leave until the situation is fixed. That is oh. the level of sophistication that the body works with. Mankind does it. A couple of years ago, or a couple of decades ago, they had a movie where the, the movies depicted that um, this gentleman had a particular blockage to an important artery in the body. And to save this important gentleman, the shrink. Um, some a team of scientists in a certain um, vessel, um, whatever it is, um, that, uh, there's a name for it. And they, 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 they injected them into the body and they go on site in order to clear up the, that particular vessel that was blocked that would have caused a stroke or caused a heart attack. But the good news is that we don't have to shrink any team of scientists because we already have 39 trillion in the gut alone. That, that is their prerogative to deal with any such anomaly in the body and fix it very intelligently and do it many times effortlessly and you did not even know. So wow. we are, science is now catching up with mother nature. 
wow wow i can tell you that is so important you see folks this is where you need to be at this sunday afternoon folks outside there this is information to bring wellness and healing to the soul in the body because when it, it basically it's not the body suffers you know it's the soul starts to suffer and what master clive has been talking about the microbiome it's really where it, it's it, it's your life force that's your actual life force in your body the building blocks the start of all life within the human genome systems in your genes it regulates everything and you know i love this session because now i am um i'm, I'm comparing i am i'm associating now the endocrine system you know the research is out there the microbiome and the thymus gland the microbiome adrenal hypothalamus gland the microbiome and the adrenal glands the microbiome and the pituitary gland the microbiome and and the ovaries, you know, this is what it is all about. Each and every organ, folks, for those of you who are coming on late and I'm seeing, that's why you need to be here at 6.30 because we do not want to waste people's times. Many of us came from meetings, jumping on to other meetings as well. So I respect you guys, but when we say we start at six, we start at six, all right? So what we are saying here is that in recapping, it's the microbiome that, you know, actually regulates all our organs and organ functions and when this soul goes out this brain goes goes out of balance or things that we are putting into our bodies causing the disruption everything else suffers into the body so you can't move the endocrine system is like your tree of life together with your lymphatic system so the timer cells all although you know it's an association with the um, as a gland in the endocrine system they generate t cells in the body it's the t cell lineage in the body all right and these dendritic cells now that follows influenced by microbes listen carefully that migrate from the colon to the thymus in early life to regulate cell homeostasis because when a when, when, when a child is born at the age of going into uh, maturity t cells stop you know producing but it is all started at that life form so if your foundation has not been done correctly or has not been birthed right or certain things has happened because we did discuss a vaginal birthing and a c-section birthing you know in the session and what microbes come with what microbes and you know in terms of of, of being well and being able to withstand immune issues and autoimmune diseases we have to, to, to understand how the body starts. And guess what? It communicates with the intestinal microbes and thymic lymphocytes. Each time I get so excited about what these microbes do in our body, because listen, this is cutting edge technology, you know, folks. This is not just some fly by night information we're telling you here, you know. This is cutting edge technology. This is nanotechnology going at its next level. Folks, if you think you come from AI, Master Clive will tell you you are because 90% of your body is AI. Actually, when it means AI, it's an intelligent force that, 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 that starts in your system. Master Clive, tell them more about that. Yes to that, okay. right? <laughs> yes, 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 most definitely. Um, that um, the intelligence of, of the microbes in the body is just fascinating to, because to run a human body is not simple. So for the microbes to be able to run the human body along with the human brain, it, it takes a certain level of sophistication and intelligence and smartness. To, and as a matter of fact, it is. It is the um, microbiome that raises the intelligence of the immune system. Because sometimes when there is friendly fire, as in the case of autoimmune disease, it happens in the case when the microbiome is damaged. When the microbiome is reset, and, and it comes back to health and life again. It is able to say to the immune system, hey guys, that war that you're fighting has long been won. There's a lot of friendly fire going on. Please get back to base, soldiers. And it allows for the soldiers to return to camp and stop the autoimmune diseases of lupus, diabetes, type two, the cancers the multiple sclerosis, the Alzheimer's, the Parkinson's, and, and you know all the other names that are in the autoimmune set, et cetera. Mm. So it is, it is able to raise the IQ of the immune system. It feeds, nourishes, manages, and supervises the immune system. And anything that does that 
has to be smart. And the microbes are smarter than we think. That is why they survive. All the antibiotics that man has made to destroy them, they survive and they mutate and say, I am still here, look at me now. Wow. This is big. And if, if we have some time, I might explain to them how the body heals itself. I take two minutes to do that if you want me to. Yes. Um, so, uh, so yes, we will because we're interacting right now. And um, yes. and and last but not least, we're going to talk about the the, the microbiome and the pan pancreas. Even though the pancreas is not identified as a, 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 as a microbiome, has its own microbiome. Guess what? It is affected by the dysbiosis in the gut, the microbiota. So now we are seeing the connection of why. So bacterial infections that can lead, just as what Clive was saying earlier on, to acute pancreatitis, which includes certain conditions such as salmonellosis, a type of food poisoning, all right? We know about salmonella caused by the bacteria, salmonella, or legionary, I'm sorry, legionaries disease, right? An infection caused by the bacterium legionella. All right, pneumophilia found in plumbing, shower heads, and water storage tanks. So we are seeing these bacteria are getting us from outside interferences, entering into the human genome, into the human body, and causing these disruptions. And when these disruptions starts to happen in the system, signal goes to the microbiome in the gut to say, hey, something is wrong. And that is what Master Clive has been telling us all along, that it stems from the gut. That's the intelligence, that's the life force that we have, because everything is, is responsible and starts with the gut. And the, the, the signals are sent from the gut. Folks, let me tell you something. Our body is so amazing. It makes the heal, repair, rejuvenate, and regenerate itself. In an environment, in a world that we are living in, I always said to people that we are down to something called the sixth mass extinction. And it is scientifically proven, and this is the time that the sixth mass extinction is going to happen. I had a session on that a couple of Sundays back. All right. And why it is why is it this way? Do you realize and do you notice that your body is so degenerated that it cannot even absorb anything that the body gets anymore, whether it's a pharmaceutical medication or even nutritional supplements at some point because you have to be on it for a while to start seeing something happening? It is because since the day you were born, they were programming you for this time. This time, because the foods that you have been eating are, are modified foods, GMO foods, it is not healthy. You are just eating um, chemicals in your body. So what, what in turn is going to happen? All right, you are going to actually produce chemicals. And what the chemicals will do, it will reprogram your cells to become toxic. And when it becomes toxic, all kinds of chronic inflammation starts to arise in the system. All right. So what you're seeing happening in that your cells are actually altering it to according to the environments and the foods that you are eating, the things that you are taking. And in this case, causing disruption with the microbiota in the gut, which is actually some of your stem cells to activate to get proper wellness. And when they cannot find these signals because of these modification, because the cells are mutating into rogue cells, guess what happens? So Clive, I'll give you the two minutes to just point um, um continue your session and then we will go into the recommendations on how we correct these issues in our bodies okay thank you now in terms of how the body heals itself i'm not sure how much we have got, you have gone through this over the last couple of weeks but uh, what we buy at the supermarket and cause that food is actually poison to the microbes anything you buy in bags bottles cans and and boxes uh, are ultra refined. They are processed, refined, and toxic to the human microbes. Now, in order to feed the microbes, you have to eat from Mother Nature's garden. Fruits, vegetables, grains, seeds, nuts, lentils. These contain what you call fiber or resistant starches. The human body only has 17 digestive enzymes are uh, unable to break down fiber. So fiber now travels through the entire GI tract 22 feet later, it finds itself entering the colon where you have 39 trillion live hungry microbes. When that fiber reaches the microbes, they digest it and break it down and ferment it. That's a very critical word to understand, ferment. Bacteria and virus are able to ferment. So they ferment your food and make short chain fatty acid. These short chain fatty acids are given names like butyrate, acetate, and propionate. 
it is said that butyrate is the healer of the body. So what, what makes the thing to heal you are not human cells, they are microbial cells, breaking down fiber into butyrate. The body plugs this butyrate into the receptor site on the walls of your colon. It enters your blood and this butyrate polices your blood and find the areas of compromise and maintain your body. So for example, one of the things it does for beta amyloid plaques in the brain that causes Alzheimer's, medical science does not have anything to repair and to reverse Alzheimer's. Butyrate is able to dissolve and destroy these beta amyloid plaques and reverse Alzheimer's dementia and cause persons to get their health back in that particular way. This butyrate also is what helps to fix the blood vessels of those sclerotic plaques. It is able to help the heart muscles that have been damaged, the liver, as in the case of fatty liver disease, and the list goes on and on, and help to regulate the body and maintain the body and cause the body to, to heal, especially as you sleep. So ladies and gentlemen, we have to eat the food that cause your body to make butyrate. So we don't, we're not trying to destroy anybody's happy diet and happy meals. All we are saying to you, eat intelligently. You can no longer afford just to eat for the human side of your makeup. You have to eat for the microbial side because they are the ones, among other things, making your medicine. My two minutes, long time up, sir, for that. <laughs> Wow, wow, that, that, that is information. So just as he was saying on the screen, you're seeing me have there Genesis 129, which says, I have given you every herb that you seed, which is on the face of all the earth and every tree whose fruit you seed to you, it shall be food. What is food? Greens, leafy vegetables, vitamins, minerals. You get all of those things from phytochemicals and nutrients and rich size cellular protection to regenerate and support the new renewal um, processes within the human body to regulate your hormones. All right. So when these, when you eat these proper foods um, in the system, it, it actually brings about something called homeostasis, which is the maintenance of a stable environment and organs or biological system to maintain proper functioning of your component cells. Folks, our cells are not functioning properly as it should. All right, organ systems are going out of whack, out of balance. So when the systems are going out of balance, you think a probiotic, you just heard what we talk about, sorry, antibiotics, um, it de degenerates. So it's not regenerating and repairing. So what do you think is going to happen? Your cells and your organs are made to produce the minerals and vitamins so that it can work within the body system, send it to the points of, of repair, get the work done. Those, those army cells go out there, the stem cells to repair, reverse, recover, and restore these things in our bodies. But if you are not nutritionally, sorry, folks, I have to say to do that you, 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 you might think you're eating healthy, but you are not healthy, all right? Because there is a saying, you look like what you eat, all right? And the thing is, I don't mean to offend or, or anybody, but at the end of the day, the problem we have is that, as Master Clive and I coined his term, we are eating or aging our way to the grave and now we have to eat ourselves back out with food, mm. food nutrition green green foods all right and this is what is happening with, with with us today we don't have anything nutrition in our body so then you might ask me what do we need to eat what do we need to put in our system so before I go through the plan that we have and the supplementation evaluation and what you get within your body to have your body moving and running, these are some of the, 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 the equipment that you saw earlier that I said we have some quantum you know, equipment that helps to regulate, look at your body, see what's going on with the system, all right, is a type of medicine which uses the scientific findings in physics to actually identify what's going on with the body. So the 90 NLS scan that I use actually runs the scan throughout. It's like a CT scan, MRI, EMRI, and CAT scan. It runs through the body. And these are some of the one to six, you know, the, the, the shapes there tell you what's going on with the problem, whether it's um, in, a, in a standard condition or serious disorder state. And then we can work around identifying what is, you know, we can start, you know, the process of the healing process within our body. 
and supplementation and nutrition all right then we do the live blood analysis many of you know this that you take a, a, a finger prick of your blood put it into the slide and you will see what's happening i'll show you some of those things later on but folks i'm here to explain a wonderful um product line and formulation that now i use in my private practice and that has been making the world healing bringing healing to nations over, over i can't even give the the, the 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 count of doctors who are using it in their practice now with their patients all over europe asia japan and sanki mayor it's an in vivo innovative limited actually has 40 years in the making of, of these product line laboratory the, the, the laboratories are in tokyo japan and they had actually started to investigate the centenarians on the island of akanawa uh, master clive are you still there you want to chime in and tell me the major work and the backing of santimir the years and where we are going okay thank you so much so ladies and gentlemen one of the things i, I gather is that Dr. Bedi Edeas, the chief scientific officer of San Kimeo, that his father was a scientist. So he have had generations of science handed down to this gentleman, Dr. Bedi Edeas. And he is now leading the charge with San Kimeo, which is the parent lab for San Kimeo Global. And 40 years of research in the Okinawans, they found out that the, the gut is the secret to longevity and therefore now they have made certain formulations so that we are able now to benefit from these secrets of the samurai the secret of the japanese the philosophy of of generations of, of japanese we now have in products and so this is not small this is something that preceded and predated the studies of the Human Genome Project and the Uber Microbiome Project. This, from, this started from 1970. So they were ahead of the pack. And we are 30 to 40 years ahead in terms of finding solutions to these problems that we now have because they realize it is the gut that is the seat of health or sickness and disease. So back over to you, Dr. Denny. So folks, this is what we have, cutting edge technology in our hands. This is not no solution and potion that you just mix and you say, okay, it's make up of some, some set of herbs that, that is extracted. Folks, let me tell you something, use it advanced sciences like nutrigenomics and biotechnology. Sanki may analyze their food, rest, environment, and lifestyle, and even their genetics to find out why these people live this long. All right. The study of nutrigenomics is studying how they sleep, they eat, the foods that they are eating, what they are doing during their waking hours, their sleeping times and all of that to see how it's adapting. That is a part of pharmacogenetics. You know, you saw earlier in the slide. So we're wondering why now, how our body is, 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 is either repairing or, or degenerating, how fast you are living and how fast you are dying, how fast you are rotting. All right. So they have come up with these wonderful cutting edge technology of products supplements all right that gives the body the the the, the resources it needs which is actually the building blocks of the body at that cellular level because folks you can put anything in your system eh? but if it don't go at cellular level sorry it just come out to the draw all right it go into the the, the top here and come out to the bottom the back door all right because there is no part in the body that is absorbing or digesting all right so master clive would you help me on this system talk to us about the the, the hasaki this afternoon ladies and gentlemen we have one of the most cutting edge state-of-the-art technologically advanced solution here in asaki it's difficult to cause the call these just products as supplements because they are so far ahead of products and their supplements as we know them you know it's, it's like star wars age we are in so the asaki um, is, is made of, among other things, 596 metabolites to do what? To nourish the mitochondria, the, the, the microbiome and the, the microbiota. So we don't have a, any other company in the world that is take, talking about nourishing the microbiota, which is the microbiome like this, because these guys have found out this truth from 1970. They are ahead of the world in making things now 
for not only the human cells, but they are nourishing the non-human cells because of the critical role that these microbes play in the human body. This is high science. And we need to understand that the price that we are asked to pay, don't think about it as just a pharmaceutical or a supplement. This is, this is 10 times that, with 10 times the benefit that we would have gotten from those other things. So Asaki, ladies and gentlemen, is the, if it's one product alone, Sankey Global had, and it's this product, we would still be a billion dollar company because of what this does to the human body. 596 metabolites is a precise figure that as uh, Dr. Denise will tell us, it is the figure that determines the metabolic rate and function of the body in terms of how the enzymes and other metabolic functions in the body perform. 596 is a very specific figure. So this is huge. And he discovered it, which science is now finding out about. So this is used, ladies and gentlemen. It also assists in protein absorption up to 20%. Now we need protein because right. the body has to repair. It can't repair without amino acid. So we need protein. 20%? That is huge because persons are consuming all these other protein shakes and doing all kind of taking all kind of different amino acids and they are not getting that type of protection and, and provision. But here we have it in the Asaki product. Um, and also it, it helps to burn unnecessary fat from the body. And, and that bottom one says energy to the trillions of mitochondria. In one product, you're speaking about microbiome at the top and mitochondria at the bottom. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know that 70% of the dry weight of the body is mitochondria. The amount of the portion of the cell that generates your energy in making what they call ATP. That is the energy and the currency that runs every cell in the body. The mitochondria makes it. But over time, the mitochondria can become damaged and also leaks and generate massive amount of free radicals and become a burden to the body. Can you imagine a company making a product that when you consume it and you digest it, it is time delayed to deploy within the cell and to repair the mitochondria like an internal WD-40 to, to repair it, to maintain it, get it back on track again, working, running properly, and it restore the full mitochondrial population to the cell. Because after a while, the total population of mitochondria in the cell becomes damaged. So the heart cells, the brain cells, and muscle cells may have the most uh, mitochondria per cell. This is state of the art, ladies and gentlemen, because it is the mitochondria that maintains the metabolic function of the cell, communicates with the cell, and even they are joining cells so that there can be homeostasis. <laughs> please, Lady Dennis, please take it back. Yes. <laughs> wow. So we just spoke about the endocrine system. We just spoke about what's going on in, in, in the gut and how the sensitivity and where everything stems from. So folks, if we have a disease in the body, I don't say a disease, I just call it a disease in the body. That's our language, all right? Then what do you think? You have to correct the disease. And when you correct this disease that just starts to happen and starts to, is the point for where all things stem, wouldn't you think it is wise to start on the Hasaki? Because that's the foundation, that's the building blocks of where everything starts. Well, the Balaj is, 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 is beautiful age, all right? It, 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 means, it, 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 it means, you know, it reactivates our body's antioxidants, increases energy production, improves blood circulation, increases hydration at a cellular level. Folks, let me tell you something. It increases everything. It combats harmful effects of free radicals in the body. It improves your metabolizing in your system, all right? It increases cellular hydration. Folks, when you drink this Balaj, it's a beautiful drink when you drink it actually cold it really really chelates and goes down really nicely into in, into that stomach wall and you actually if if the body is dehydrated you will feel for more water 
So that is telling you that something, I mean, many of us don't drink our eight glasses of water daily. If we barely manage to drink a half glass, we drink plenty, all right? And that is where a lot of toxins start to lodge inside of our systems and start building up and causes all these chronic um, inflammation and conditions within our body. So it increases and improves the function of the mitochondria and how they utilize water in the cells. It increases your energy output. And actually, um, um, Clive spoke about the ATP, adenogen triphosphate space, the energy which is life force in the mitochondria, blood circulation, microcirculation, folks. Those are circulation persons have issues on their feet, you know, varices of veins and all of these things. When you start drinking the large, it open up those valves, those degenerated valves and start going at areas where blood was not even flowing because it's microcirculation, um, all right, at that mitochondrial level, hitting the blood barrier and entering into there. Uh, Master Clive, inner seven, give us, give us the, 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 the inner seven description here. Yeah, man. so 1,000 feet below Okinawa, Japan, in that pristine environment where the algae still are very live, um, we have these precious um, seawater with all these minerals laden in it, and they extract it. And they produce it in a particular way that even enhance the amount of um, minerals that are found in this particular type of seawater. And we know Dr. Linus Pauling, two time Nobel Prize laureate, he said all diseases can be traced to a mineral deficiency. So that we need minerals in order for enzymes and hormones to function. And Dr. Denise, even having her brain, all the different types of metabolic functions that we need. We need magnesium for, and it helps to relax and rejuvenate and revitalize the body. And we, we need this because our food does no, not um, any longer have the, the, the minerals in it because it is so ultra processed and refined that we don't we have to find another source of minerals. That is why this inner seven is such an important product in terms of even certain parts of the body that need a certain type of pH, that it ensures that that part of the body has the pH because with such level of pH, the certain viral cells, bacterial cells, cancer cells cannot thrive in a pH of seven. They will survive at a pH of four and five, but when it's at seven, they do not thrive in it. So ladies and gentlemen, we have here a super product that is able to give our body all the minerals it needs in order for our body to function at optimal level. Uh, you, you might want to chime in with anything more in that, Dr. Denise. Mm -hmm. Yes, because magnesium is very, very important. There are over 60 plus minerals in this formulation, but it can't all fit on the box. Somebody might ask why it's not recorded there. Because these it's so much that it wouldn't be able to fit on the box. But the main ones you see are magnesium, zinc, potassium, calcium. And magnesium is so important in today's body because it helps with numerous degenerative chronic conditions, conditions such as kidney disease, depression, cystitis, bowel, bowel disease, blood clots, asthma, hypoglycemia, insomnia, nerve problems. Folks, let me tell you something. Your minerals are important because if your minerals is not in that blood to absorb, the minerals helps the body to absorb nutrition. So if you're depleted of minerals, guess what? You ain't getting no nutrition in those cells. So Master Clive, let's go to the chrono fire. What you love so much about the chrono fire? Chrono <laughs> fire, chrono fire. It allows and facilitates sleep. We are living in a world that many people are not sleeping well. Sleep apnea, all kind of different things. People have been restless legs. They wake up how many times per night. But here's a product that allows you to sleep. If you do not sleep, you cannot heal. You cannot maintain. You cannot repair. And those hours between 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. and 3 a.m. are very critical in terms of the circadian rhythm in terms of which organs are maintained at particular times of the night. So we need to sleep. And many persons, they go to bed, they say they sleep, but when they wake up in the morning, it's like they really need to go to bed now because they feel like a 18 wheeler truck hit them somewhere and, and, and they're out of it. But here's a product that facilitates sleep, deep, restful, REM sleep, rapid eye movement sleep, that you are happy and you get up in the morning 
you feel revived, relaxed, well rested, because this product facilitates that. And the good thing about it, just pour the content in a cup, pour hot water on it, and you sip it and drink it. It allows for you also to burn fat while you sleep. For those who need to lose the weight, here is a lazy person's product. The ideal product burns fat while you are sleeping. Ladies and gentlemen, it deals with the sugar concern that we have because they are putting additional sugar in our meals. It is not fat that makes you fat. It is sugar that makes you fat. And when you have a product that removes excess calories and from the, the meal you're eating and also the other toxins in terms of the flavors and colors and different things that are put in our food and other toxic stuff that you don't know in it, it's good to know that you have this. And it, diabetics, diabetics, this is your new friend because it helps to regulate blood sugar by preventing the spiking of glucose in the blood and release the glucose from your food in waves so that it doesn't spike and there is better control over time because they are time released from the food. So listen, gentlemen, this you get to give better glucose insulin control and prevent the need for damage to your eyes, kidneys, your extremities, for amputation, gangrene legs, and such like. So this is a friend for those who are diabetics or pre-diabetic. I just don't want to get there at all. Dr. Denise, you please. Wow. So, so guys, there you have it. So we are certified. So if you are asking me, okay, we are in the JAMA, the, 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 the American medical journals there. We are in the, the manual research. We are very transparent. So if you want to know the formulations, the inside out, I know, you know, some of you like to, I mean, you wouldn't, you, you wouldn't question your medical doctor of the pills he gives you in the long prescription that go in down the road. But you want to, you, you know, you want to find out everything that what these products have in it. So we are very transparent. We are surgery manual, manuals are there. We, 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 we also in the PDR, for those who are on our side of the world, physician desk reference, that's our clinical Bible. When you, you know you're going to treat somebody with something, you look in it to see if this is good to use. All right. So we are there. We are effective. Um, Sanki and the intelligence, all the nutrition certifications are there. And if you guys need it on paper, yes, you can get them in, in, in you know, to read and, and, and review. So here is when we do some testings and we have done, you know, some analyzing on blood cells. And this is a blood cell you would see. I mean, I'm not sure if you see my cursor. First slide we took, you're actually seeing just like a splatter puddles here with the blood cells, no, no nutrition, oxidation, white blood cells cells fighting, no red blood cells, no nothing you are seeing here in this screen, a lot of, um, you know, um, issues going on, sludge, you know, circulation, folks, this is a 40, 40 let me, let me get the age, 43 year old female with breast cancer who did chemo radiation, and when the sessions were finished, the doctors told her, there is nothing they can do, send her home to die. She heard of, 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 of Gift of Health Limited, came across and asked what we can do. And this is what I did. I analyze her blood. I show her. We did a second slide. You know, you're seeing sepsis in the blood, um, sepsis in the blood, you know, um, bacteria build up all of these fragmentation, cholesterol crystals, you name it. Third slide, the same thing, you know, we did. After giving her the inner seven, I give her the inner seven to drink. After 45 minutes, I took her blood. And this is the result on slide four and slide five. Here you are seeing blood cells are looking back to normal because the minerals now are absorbing into the system. The body is now regulating. It gets food for the cells. It starts to break down the toxins within the body. I mean, I wouldn't go into details, but this is what it is. You know, all the, 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 the um, oxidative stress, everything that's happened. Then I took it another five minutes again. And now you're actually seeing some form of life coming back into these cells. 
oxidation, heavy metals after the chemo and radiation that has been going on. Now it's cleaning out and pumping back into the bloodstream so that it can clean out through the lymphatic system. So folks, this is the power. This is what is called neutral genomics at work, nanotechnology at work. As Master Clive said, this is not no um, um, formulation or lotion potion. We just put in a packet and say, here, take this. This is saving lives. And folks, I'm going to call on a few of you on this line to night who has been because they say they say you know that um you know you 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 take something be a product of the products folks i don't just talk about the products i am a product of the product all right because you cannot use something without feeling something to express something to somebody if you're not doing that you're like sitting down by a painted fire and expect to be warm it can never happen all right because people will see the real in you they will know what you are saying and you might see me talking with passion and conviction and added, you know, association to that is aggression. Because at the end of the day, I treat sick people every day and people don't want to die. Believe me, they say, oh gosh, I'm ready for the grave. But when it's ready time come, they don't want to die. And you don't want to be kicking and screaming going to the grave. You want to live gracefully and at least healthy. And as, as, as Albert Einstein said it, we can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we use when we created them. So folks, before I just end up, I'm on my end now. I just want to um, touch on a few persons here who is on the chat tonight. I'm not sure um, my, my, my um, tech guy, Mr. Pereira, are you seeing Mr. Alvin Morton on this afternoon? Okay, Alvin, um, can you unmute your mic, please, and shine in? Pleasant evening, Dr. Denise. Oh my gosh, it's such a pleasure to have you because I know you're so super, super busy, you know, and um, with all that is going on, he's a family member, I'm sorry, a family guy. He, you know, a beautiful wife, children. Oh my, my, I know um, Mr. Alvin has some great, um, you know, uh, experience with the Sankey products. And I would just like you to shine in and say, how do you feel at this point in your life, sir? I am truly grateful, <clears throat> thankful and appreciative to yourself and the tech guy, Mr. Or as I like to call him, Professor Larry Pereira. Both of you all have brought considerable information and value. This Sankey system, I, I actually have been delinquent to the extent that I really should be using it. So just recently, I have rectified my personal procrastination in that sense. And one of the things that assisted me with that is a speech that I did <clears throat> a couple of weeks ago entitled, How Long Do You Intend to Live? Hmm. How long do you intend to live? We can each look at our respective family history and I can identify several of my either paternal or maternal people who have lived to three score and 10 and my paternal grandmother's sole surviving sibling. So that would be my great aunt is one year away, I think, from the target that I have set, which is 100. And I found this was so fascinating given the birth and where Sankey products came from. The study of the centenarians in the island of Okinawa. We should take a look at macrotrends.net and put in life expectancy by country. Some of us might be interested to know <clears throat> that Trinidad and Tobago's life expectancy is 73.67 years as of 2021. At its current rate in the year 2100, it's expected to be 84 years. That's just over four scope. Now we all know from Genesis 6, Genesis chapter 6, verse 3, our original design was 120 years. Right. We can all look at an article by Alice York, written in Time magazine, where scientists, and she said that 
in 2016, I believe, have proven that the human body and brain can live to 115 years. So we have biblical evidence and we have the scientific corroboration. And Master Clive, or as, as I will call him now, Professor Clive gave us a whole lot of information to support that. Okay, so I certainly believe that I'm in the right place at the right time with the right products. I do have some family history, diabetes being one and high blood pressure being the other. And I've had a few bouts with high blood pressure as Dr. Denise will know. So I have been looking for solutions <clears throat> outside of the normal course for approaching them. And I believe that the Sankey system is the way to go. You don't have to take my word for it. The proof of the pudding is always in the eating. But let me close with Dr. Wayne Dyer's statements from his audiobook, Real Magic. He says that we should memorize and continually remind ourselves that our intention creates our reality. The question is, what is your intention? I yield the virtual spotlight to Dr. Denise. Wow, powerful. Thank you so much. Um, do we have a Jane on out of the US? Uh, Jane, I know she's recently started to use the products. She's been on all the sessions. She's been learning and she's also a qualified nurse. Jane, are you out there, my queen? Can you unmute and just shiny? Jane, can you shiny? Am I, am I, oh, okay, I'm on now. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. Um, I, hello, good night everybody this has blown you always blow me over and tonight it was straight out of the ball pack it was totally out of ball pack i i i learned something i was taking notes i i just want to thank you guys so much you know i have i have a i don't know if it's a testimony i've been a nurse for 28 years i work in cardiac i work in med surge i work in the emergency room i have i is until i met until recently, I, I became aware of the word microbiome. Mm. And that was life-changing for me. And presently, I'm taking the product. I've been having a lot of sleepless nights because my mind been racing so much with so many things I've been doing. But since I started taking the, the chronite, I don't know if I'm mm, pronouncing yeah. it right. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> my sleep has improved significantly. And I am feeling so much energized. I am I'm totally, totally 100% uh, I'm in, in, in engaged or in the, I, I, I can't even speak. I'm, I'm, and I'm very, very, very rare to be speechless. I'm thinking of even quitting my job as a certified nurse case manager for a company up here and just, and just do this to help wow. people, not so much for the income. Wow. But but because I have other things, but I'm thinking of helping people because I, this is a we have so many people up here in the world today with diabetes and and autoimmune disorders and the the the, the knowledge about the brain, the second brain, which is the enteric nervous system and how it communicates with the central nervous system. It's right. news to me. And I, I went, I, while you were speaking, I was researching. <laughs> and yes, I, I do not just buy things gull gullibly. Mm -hmm. And yes, I, you know, I, I see children born, they, they grow up and 
as we get older, our body shape changes. And probably it's because of the, the gut brain that is, that is disturbed, so to, so, so to speak. So the goal is to get back that balance. So I thank you so much for giving me a minute to speak. I am going to be listening. I'm going to be encouraging people to come in this because I see people every day taking multiple medications, sometimes Genomet, sometimes insulin, metformin, five medications alone for diabetes management. That is not necessary. And it grieves me and I, I, I just have to watch it. I cannot say it because the medical doctors prescribe it and I have to you know educate the persons about it but it grieves me because I know it's not absolutely necessary I know they can change their diet but they, they say you know what my doctor wrote it for me so it's I know I'm taking it but you guys are educating you are informing doctors do not educate they just write you know that the patient comes in they do the assessment and they write a prescription and it grieves me to see how certain persons can be up to 20, 20 medications on one person with multiple side effects. And I remember growing up, my grandmother will take one Bush medication and everything will be corrected. Mm -hmm. So we have to rewrite the books. Yes, the books need to be rewritten. It is deceptive, it is false, it is old news, it is fake news. Wow. Hmm. So we have to re-educate and we have to introduce slowly. I know many of the persons online here may not know, understand some of the medical terminology, but some of the things you said, basic, they got it. They got it. And people need to take stock and listen again. Don't, you don't have to rush off and buy anything. Come back and listen again to Dr. Joe. Listen to Mr. Clyde. Listen to the presenters. Ask questions to stay wise and change your eating habits, change your life, take back your life. Now that we know we have a second brain, use it. That's all I have to say. Thank you so, so much. And this is not just a, 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 a lady just talking. I mean, folks, let me tell you, this is not paid on advertisement, sir. I just call these people randomly. They didn't even know they were being called this afternoon. And she's a nurse for over, I think, what she said, 20 something years, you know, out of um, um, the US there. And she's she's dealing with this every day. She specializes, as you say, in cardiac and also in, um, you know, um, diabetes, you know, and, 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 and all these other high blood pressure, you hear, you can hear this, this lady, a wealth of information and knowledge when it comes to the clinical world and what it is offering people. I am not sure if Gwini out of Barbados is on the line. Gwini, are you there? Gwendolyn Smith, is, are you Gwini from out of Barbados? Can you unmute and just shining this afternoon? Okay, if not, um, we just move along. Um, I'm not seeing, I guess Dr. Lola went off. She's probably got to go past Lola to another session right now. But folks, tonight, I mean, this has been an awesome, awesome, you know, session having you guys. And I, I just want to, you know, wrap up by saying the person who says it's impossible should not interrupt the one that's doing it. You know, we have to really educate ourselves and reclaim, as, as Nurse Jane said a few minutes ago, and, and I have to say, um, Professor Alvin Morton, reclaim personal responsibility, take charge, make changes in our lives. You know, if we don't, we are going to be like what Albert Einstein said, to continuously doing the same thing over and over, expect, expecting to get a, a different result. It, it, to me, in that book, that's madness, all right? So we have to understand that what we are seeing, what we are experiencing is way more than what you know, your body has intended. It, it, it is actually, we are taking back our life into our hands. This time, this dispensation of time is forcing us 
to do what is right. Our body is crying out. We are going back to that cosmic divine, that, that, that creation that God has given us. So our body is rebelling. It's not that it's it not doing anything, you know, it's rebelling against the things we are putting into it because it is not giving us any nutrition. So if your body, if you, you ever give a child something it don't like, what happens? They fling it out of the mouth, they pelt it away, they, and you might be thinking that is healthy for them. All right. I mean, you know, so that's what our body is doing to us right now. It is it, 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 it is rebelling. So folks, tonight, I want to thank you for being a wonderful audience. I, I, I didn't want to keep you this long, but we are going to talk in other sessions about how these products are working, Master Clive and myself, when it comes to the COVID-19 and what a you know how it is building the immune um, system within our body and pr protecting us because a lot of patients a lot of people are on these products that's helped the COVID-19 um, 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 they, 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 that, that, that's you know on all these strains and, and, and everything mutations that's happening um, before I close is Mr. Pereira still online Mr. Pereira can you unmute your mic sir I'm not sure. Okay, um, Mr. Pereira, are you still there? Hello. Oh, I see beautiful Marva out of Canada. Listen, folks, I cannot go without having this beautiful queen on the line. Marva, please unmute your mic and shiny. Ah, let me see. Let me see what's going on here. Ah, Marva, please unmute and shiny, my dear lady. Okay, there we go. Oh, Thank you. Uh, see, Gwen, Gwen is on, you know. Yeah. Gwen is on. I think her mic might, might be locked. Yes. Yes. How are you? I'm I great, am great. blown away. I hear some of these things, but I'm hearing so many new things that you've you've gone into the into the down to the uh, basement in the cellar. You've got you scraped up everything today. I I am loving this. You know I'm in recovery, and I'm telling you I live on these webinars. When you're on um, Master Clive, I can't cover too many names, but you know it's it is so amazing, and the fact that it is true. I've had so many victories already. I can write a book soon. You know, yes. this is a miracle. You know, it's all lined up to our bodies the way that God intended it to. That's right. And I, I don't see, you know, when I, when I tell people about this, I, I am so passionate about it. Some people, I just give this stuff away. I, I buy extra, get free stuff, and I give them away because people need to know. And they don't trust anything unless they have some kind of a proof. That's right. Mava, are you there? I think I'm, I'm not hearing you. Uh-oh. You just went off. I think we lost her there. Mava, we I think yes, I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. Yes, we lost you a minute. Oh, oh, you know what happened? I was on my Bluetooth in my car. Oh, and so it went off. <laughs> yes. I know it happens to me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying that we go to the doctor, right? The doctor says, you know, I'll give you half a dozen of these hmm. and it's gonna cost you uh five hundred dollars. And we say, wow, but okay. And we find the money and pay for it. To pay for the poison. Hmm. We pay big bucks for the poison. It's not doing anything for us. I was so ashamed. I was telling somebody that I, 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 I bought painkillers just before I, I got into in, in, in the knowledge of the Sankey Global um, formulas. And I saw this bottle. I picked it up. I got it's, it's two for the price of one. Uh, acetaminophen, and each bottle has listen to this three hundred and fifty tablets. 
what am I going to do? Because I don't even feel comfortable in giving it away. I might have to take it back to the pharmacy and ask them to dump him. Hmm. Dump them. Get rid of them because I can't throw them down the toilet. Ethics, you know, can't do that. But we have to be so, so. Yes. Uh, you you drop your friends to tell us too. And it's all true because I've been through, I've been through so many things, yeah. you know. But I thank God for you and I thank you for all the people who present to us and come and tell us what about these things and the fact that we have access to this. It's it's great. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. You're welcome, beautiful queen. So folks, tonight, that's the end of our session. Um, I, I just want to just mention to you, those of you who um, was invited to this call, get back to the person who invited you. There is a promotion going on and I would love to give away. Um, there is something called, we call them the shinkers. Get back to the person who invited you to this program. And all you will have to do is pay $10 US to get a four day supply of the Sankey technology products, all right? Nutrition for the microbiome, resetting your system. So get back to the person who invited you to this um, call this afternoon. You can call my number. I have a listing of those who and just let me know so that you guys can get these products. No matter what part of the world you are in, we will get the product to you. At least you can have a, a, a taste and have a, 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 a rejuvenation of those cells for at least a four day supply. All right. So before I close, I would like to ask Master Clyde to say a few words in closing and close us in prayer soon. Are you still there? Let me see. I have to handle. I think my master of controls has left me. <laughs> master Clyde. OK. Yes. Finally, I get to unmute. Thank you yes. so much. So ladies and gentlemen, the final word is take care of your microbiome and your microbiome will take care of you. So let us pray. So kind and righteous father, we thank you today for this session. Thank you for Dr. Pereira. Thank you, Lord, for the wealth of knowledge that she has and that she is willing to share this information with all the persons who chimed in today representing their families. May you bless each family represented. May you plant seeds in the hearts of those represented today to, to share it with others. As Dr. Edea says, if we are going to help people, we have to tell them the truth. Lord, may we be con conduits of this truth so that people might understand their true construct and understand the reasons why they are sick and how to get back on their path of wealth and health. Bless us, Lord. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, full fellowship with the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, rest, remain, and abide with us all, now and forevermore. And we say, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Yes. Good night, you all. Oh, what's happening here now? <laughs>